Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Madam Chair and esteemed members of the committee. My name is Kurt Myers and I'm here representing the Prison Scholar Fund and the many people whose voices can't be heard here today. Uh, for 15 years, seven months, and 23 days, I was an inmate in Washington State Department of Corrections. And I'd like to share with you a bit of my journey, which is so similar to many others. In 2015, my, on my seventh year of imprisonment, Washington State began rolling out vocational programs. Uh, because of this, I was given the opportunity to complete a heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration course, um, which not only bolstered my employability and my credibility and knowledge base, but gave me something immeasurably more valuable, a much needed sense of self-worth and uh, self-efficacy. With this newly found skill and passion for education, I was ready to be released and help affect positive change in the community. And yet, I still had roughly nine years left to serve on my sentence. Despite my incarceration in 2013, I went on to earn an associates in science major. And again, in 2015, I earned an additional associate degree in liberal arts. Yet again, despite my continuous display of re rehabilitation, I remained in confinement. So I've been a direct beneficiary of numerous public and private sector correctional education efforts, and I feel it incumbent upon me to help secure um, the, and expand these programs so that there exists some reliable means of rehabilitation inside our prisons uh, and supports upon reentry. So since my release in 2015, I've graduated from University of Washington Tacoma's Milgard School of Business, and I've had the honor of working alongside some amazing, amazing formerly incarcerated leaders, such as Dr. Christopher Beasley, an associate professor at UW Tacoma. Um, I operated as his project coordinator uh, for the pro post-prison education research lab, which is working to optimize prison to college slash prison to employment transitions in Washington and, and across the country. Or Dirk Van Velzen, the, former, the founder and executive director of Prison Scholar, prison Scholar Fund, an organization for which I've recently taken on the role of as, as investment and partnership officer. Um, working to provide funding and support to assist incarcerated and formerly incarcerated people realize their dreams um, and, and change, and change the, the world. But I say not all that to, to, I say all that not to tout our accomplishments as formerly incarcerated citizens, but to underscore the fact that there are plenty more where we came from. Um, currently incarcerated people praying for the opportunity to take part in healing our communities and changing the way we as a society view criminal justice, corrections, and many, many public health issues that leak into the social strata of our society and, and contribute to our mass incarceration crisis. If you'd like to hear uh, from those uh, who are truly experts in reentry, I'd be happy to arrange a panel of previously uh, incarcerated people who can provide guidance in aligning policy with best practices. Um, and I urge the committee to please lend your support for post conviction review board. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Question.